hello friends today i'll show you uh, another example of virtual try on uh, workflow uh, which is using flux uh, model and uh, uh, one specific lora which was uh, built on for, which was built for flux uh, the name of the lora is cad python so this is this uh, specific lora makes a huge difference in the output i have checked uh, other virtual try on workflows but this one it uh, generates really nice uh, output so i have already uh, tested with uh, one image and uh, one flow image so you can see the output here if i show you the output so this is the output i'll just zoom it out see the the output image quality is really nice it is almost same same like the input image and the uh, cloth also you can see uh, you can't uh, tell like this is a ai gmail generated uh, image so be because uh, like uh, the flux model it is popular for generating you know realistic images so i'll just uh, show you guys like uh, what all uh, models uh, you have to download so here uh, basically it is using the dual clip loader models a two clip model and one va model and one clip vision model here you can get the name from the workflow and there is one style model flux redux dev dot sir and uh, there are two lora is being used here so the specific lora which is uh, uh, making a huge difference is the cat button one uh, you can search for this uh, uh, lora model in google and you can get the details like how to use it and you can also develop some other um, application based on this lora okay i'll just show you like uh, with uh, another example like how how it is generating i'll just uh, change uh, i'll upload one more cloth image so i have uploaded another cloth image and i'll see this image it's uh, the cloth is little big and i'll see like how it uh, fits the uh, image of this uh, character i'll just run okay my workflow is running so it is almost taking like 16 second with uh, rtx 4090 24 gb gpu so which is uh, uh, okay like uh, with 24 gb I, I guess it is not using that much of ram uh, gpu okay if i just uh, install one uh, the gpu usage checker not here i guess install model manager from model manager I forgot the model uh, it should be somewhere system manager so this is the one I'll just install this model to see like uh, how much uh, percentage of uh, GPU is being used Okay, I'll, before reloading the workflow uh, as so, uh, compi ui uh, i'll just show you the output here so you can see with that uh, cloth the output came so nicely the cloth fits uh, like it looks like a natural naturally some someone is wearing the cloth Okay. 
you can just uh, reload the workflow and show you how much percentage of GPU it is using yeah now we have the watch here at the top okay now I'll upload one more uh, image okay this time I'm using another image and the same cloth so what we have to do like to uh, get, uh, get this workflow running before uh, running the workflow you have to upload the, these two image photo of a person and the cloth and then you just right click on it and uh, open in max editor so you, you here you have to you know max the area where uh, you want to put the clothes uh, this uh, part can also be done automatically so for that uh, this workflow there is no I mean extra node to automatically max the areas but uh, th this can be done automatically also so I'll increase the thickness this should be okay I have uh, maxed the uh, clothes on this image now I'll save it I have saved it so let's see how it is uh, appearing okay now I'll run the workflow my workflow is in running If I see here, now it is sampling. See, guys, so you can see the output image. Uh, it has put the clothes very nicely and uh, the output image is uh, quality is very good uh, because of flux I guess uh, the quality output quality is very good so I have saved the image here in output folder so I, I'll just show you how it looks I can see there is a small uh, blur area in here so this is because of the mask area like I masked some extra person but if you mask uh, the cloth uh, using code like if you instead of manually mas masking the cloth if you do it through uh, some script or you can add one more node to automatically mask the cloth that will you know give you better result so i'll just uh, do one thing i'll you know uh, use uh, the red t-shirt once again on this image and I'll see i'll see like how it is appearing the output so if i select the red t-shirt example close to t-shirt yeah I'll just uh, click on Q. GPU it is uh, using 97%, 100% GPU. 
CPU usage. There is no CPU usage for this workflow. Uh, for this one, it took uh, 15 seconds. can see the output here in this workflow I can see uh, there is no way to uh, uh, you know add the two clothes at the same time so there can be some extra modification can be done to, to add top and bottom clothes together so yesterday the workflow I was using there uh, there was option to uh, add uh, uh, to, to try top and bottom clothes together uh, but the, this workflow this is uh, giving really nice output I'll show you the models here. Uh, okay, I'll just open the image here. This is our generated image, and I'll show you the first generated image also. And see, this is the one. Okay, uh, thank you guys. So I, I'll uh, give you the script uh, to download the models automatically because if you want to download manually all the models, uh, it will take uh, lots of time, like uh, uh, almost one hour. It will take to you know load the models in a respective folders, download it and put it in respective folder. So I have already written a custom Python script uh, by uh, with uh, giving the proper folder names like where to download the models so you just have to you know copy the script and paste it on your terminal and hit enter so it will it will automatically download all the models within um, five uh, or two ten minutes so that's all for this video thank you guys